Hello world and welcome, I'm Karhu the Great Bear of the North, and this is the fantastic post-apocalyptic survival game, The Flame in the Flood, where you take a girl and her dog on a raft down a flooded river, valley, canyon, whatever, and it is amazing. But one of the things I will say before I get on, um, the soundtrack in this game is absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, I'm absolutely also terrified of... Um, copyright violations on YouTube, so I'm not using the music for this, but definitely check out the link in my description box below to Chuck Reagan's The Flame in the Flood, absolutely epic soundtrack. In fact, play it on Spotify while you're watching this, if you have access to that. Um, it totally adds to the experience. We're just going to start a new campaign, uh, starting game will overwrite any currently saved progress, yes. We're just going to go as a traveler, just so then I can use check, uh, checkpoints so we can actually make it all the way through this raft adventure together. There you go, you got the little doggo. The little doggo's name is Aesop. He's carrying a survival pack. It's so good. That is Scout, that's your character. I wish she's made a flashlight out of a bottle with like fire bugs in it. It's beautiful. Radio? And yeah, the dog totally looks like he's wearing glasses. But he's not. So the first goal is to find, you know, the radio signal. We've got to... This is the first goal. The old radio is still working, you just need to get closer to the source. Maybe find high ground to hear the message clearly. And I'm not entirely sure exactly how we do that. I played a little bit. But, uh, not that much. So the player inventory, you've got a bag, you've got 20 things. It's actually behind my head, um, where the bag is. But you've got 20 slots for right now. But you also have to keep an eye on Scout's health. Hunger, thirst, temperature, and rest are all very important considerations. Got saplings and feathers, and you can totally make new things. Like in this case, we just discovered the, um, cooked meat schematic. Which, yes, you can capture, like, rabbits and uh, various things. And just the atmosphere of this game is stunning. If you're thirsty, you may consume polluted water, but beware the consequences. You do have water filters and things like that. You can examine the buildings, but she cleaned this place out long ago. Nothing left but dust. And in here, we've got a water filter, a flint, some night crawlers. Ooh, I don't, I've never seen night crawlers before. Night crawlers are worms, earthworms. And you can get the quick use menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got all this. But cattails can be turned into braided, like, strings. Uh, braided threads, which you can then use in a whole bunch of other things. And these little mailboxes create tasks. And for example, this task is basic tools. You need to craft a stone knife and a stone hammer. And let's get some braided cords. We sh a stone knife requires two flints and one braided cord. Hmm. But let's get a lot of braided cords. There we go. And there's also the river. Yeah, you go rafting. I just want to... Ch yeah. We're all good. But I'll show you how this works. It is... Beautiful. This is Scout and her dog on the raft. When you were around, it actually kind of reminds me of... Um, of those rafting scenes in Donkey Kong Country? A little bit? A little bit. A little bit. But yeah, we've got shacks that are just floating. These are, uh, hydro poles. Right? And you just go down. There's the raft, in case you're having trouble finding it. And you can steer. You can go faster, a little bit forward. You can actually slow down quite a bit. Almost do a complete stop in these, uh... in the slower river parts. And again, if I were playing the music, you'd be like, oh my god, this is perfect. So please, I recommend... Whoa, avoid that! Oh, I stopped paying attention for a slight second. Um, yeah, don't crash your raft, because this is the raft health bar at the bottom. If you lose all the raft, the health of your raft, you will die, but you can repair it. You can repair it, and this is her health at the top. This is Scout's health. Okay. Just need to focus on this, just for a second. But yeah, if you're not already listening to Chuck Reagan's fantastic soundtrack to this game, Go open up Spotify or open up another YouTube tab 
and um, look for the Flame in the Flood soundtrack. Chuck Reagan, I have a link to it below in the description box, and it just totally works. And there's 10 different regions, and each region of the river has different things. In fact, this one has deep country, it's got a lot of farms, it's got a lot of wilderness, and it's got a lot of uh, campsites. And this is one, this about 250 meters away, which I think is on the other side of this island. Um, it is a, uh, a repair station where you can get off and you can repair your your boat. But we don't need, but we need to get the materials with which to repair our boat. Oh, 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 ah, that was something we could have, um, we could have looted. Got to keep out for like these little blue things, uh, the little blue areas. And this is the rust water station. It provides gas, a raft upgrade, and a repair lift. But we don't have the materials with which to actually upgrade our raft, right? You can do repairs, repair patch, old lumbers, minor repairs, right? And if we had the proper schematics, raft hardware, and raft frameworks, we could even upgrade our raft. We don't have anything with which to upgrade our raft. We will, however, get gas in the pump. We filled our bottle up with gas, and there we go. Um, let's transfer gas over to the raft stash because we don't really need it um but aesop's got raw when did aesop get raw meat oh interesting aesop where did you get these things huh yeah we've got dandelions which you can eat you can also make a fantastic tea out of them we've got braided cords we've got night crawlers which we can eat oh interesting then we got raw meat, which we can then turn into jerky, and then it won't degrade. It won't spoil. There we go, let's go back into the raft. And let's see if we can get to one of those two other islands, because those are going to have a little bit more interesting things for us. Specifically, I want this wilderness. Ooh, ooh, but a campsite there. A campsite there is pretty good. Let's see if we can't get this, and then head over to the fishing part, um, and then go to the campsite afterwards. But you won't be able to make all of them. You won't be able to get access to, to all of them. So sometimes you need to choose which ones are good for you. Oh, rabbits. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to create... I want to see if we can find some snares. Because you can create snares to um, catch rabbits. And that is under... No. Oh, no. Snares. We need braided cords, saplings, and a stone knife. So we need flint and another sapling in order to create a stone knife. Well, there is a sapling. There we go. Let's see what's in the car. Come on, car. Flint, flint, flint. Alcohol, man. You can use alcohol to make bandages, antiseptics, because you will get injured in this game. I mean, okay, correction. I get injured in this game. No guarantee that you will. Thin gloves. Excellent. We can apply it. We can uh, wear the thin gloves. Because this temperature bar, you can also see it in the upper right hand corner when I'm not in the, uh, the inventory screen, you've got a gear rating. This is how warm or cold it is outside, and this is the gear rating. You need to basically keep the temperature above the gear rating, so you need to constantly wear warmer and warmer clothes as the game progresses. Um, and we definitely want snares, but we do need a, a spear trap. Spear traps are useful for getting uh, wolves and pigs and wild pigs, but we need to create a stone knife first. We've got plenty of saplings, which is good, but we can't actually create anything with them. Because we need a box trap, we still need the stone knife. Dang. Dang. And there's nothing else here for us, because if we had that extra flint, we could catch a bunch of rabbits and then actually... Uh, cook their meat. We can salt their meat as well. Um, but we just don't have any flint. Which is unfortunate. You can't always do what you want. You can't really plan ahead. You just kind of have to... Oh, okay, we're not going to be able to get to the fishing part. Because um, we can't really go around. Because the river is strong. Ah, uh, well we got some corn, but we also damaged our boat. That was not a good trade at all. That was not a good trade at all. Um, I was hoping I could do it, but not so much. Hyenos Ridge often often has flint, always has a lit fire, because there's certain things you can only craft at a fire. We also have a quest here. What is the quest? The River Dock. I haven't had this one before. 
the river dock. Make penicillin. When cuts and scratches become infected, your only hope is an antibiotic. I don't know how to make penicillin. But here's some more saplings. We can definitely make some snares if we get some flint. Oh, and we have dandelions. There we go. There's some flint. Dandelions are good. Because you can just munch a whole bunch of them, and it's... I mean, it's not the greatest food source, but it is a food source. Old lumber and flint. Um, there we go. And always listen to the duck. Moldy lump. You can get the moldy lump. Oh, 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 no, but moldy lump is how you make penicillin, right? Ooh. And penicillin. We need moldy lumps and requires fire. Excellent. Okay, because I was, I was always discarding the moldy lumps. Let's get some charcoal. And we're at the fire, and we can now create penicillin. Fantastic. We'll also cook our rabbit meat. There we go. We'll get an ash, a couple of ash, well, no, one ash cake. And a stone knife. Fantastic. And now we can create spear traps and snares. I want a spear trap just because it can kill wolves and and boars, which can really mess you up later on um, if you're not uh, careful. Oh, more dandelions. Oh yeah, that's empty. We already searched that. And what else is out here? Sumac, which we can use to make um, topical creams to deal with like uh, poison ivy or whatever, I think. Or sumex for the bomb. Sumex are for bombs, actually. Take all flint and rags. Good, we can sleep in the camper. We've got torches and bandages, our new schematics. And the way that you learn schematics in this game is you just need to collect all of the items that you use to make uh, the new item, right? Um, so stone hammer, we need to make one of them, and then we're actually going to complete our quest. There we go. And the metal hammer... Let's get a metal hammer, but we require old lumber and nuts and bolts and a workbench. I, I've never, I don't know where to find a workbench. But I also want a steel knife, and we need a boar hide, so let's go find a boar. Let's go find a boar. Tainted bait, don't eat it, it will kill you. I, I've never made a tainted bait. Bait. Let's see what that actually, let's see what that actually does. Use a creature's own appetite against it to give it food poisoning? That sounds really wrong. But you know what? Let's just eat an entire stack of the dandelion. There we go. Penicillin. Fantastic. We got some saplings. Good. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Um, I don't think I got everything around here. Dog, you you barked. What, did, what are we looking for? Nothing? Okay. Well, let's go back. What are you? What are you barking at, boy? Come on. Sometimes the dog's barks can lead you to things, but other times it um, it's just being a jerk. Okay, you're clearly leading me somewhere, buddy. No, I'm fairly certain I already searched that. Thank you, though. Where are you leading me? You're not leading me anywhere. Ah, oh, fine. Well, it's night. We might as well sleep to get a little bit of rest. I just love the animations. It's such a good little game. And this isn't going to be a long series. Probably only about three or four episodes. But still, it will be a uh, series that I personally enjoy. And if we... And this game gets really dark. And, oh, it's a storm. A storm's a brewing. And if it were a little bit colder, um, I'd be really worried about being wet. But for right now, we should be fine in terms of... Um, wait, what do we need for arrows? Flint. For a bow, we need a steel knife. So we need four and nuts and bolts. Okay. It's a lot of stuff to keep in your head about what your priorities are, and, and you really need to be adaptable at this game. And I'm still not sure the best way to play it, but uh, I'm trying my best. I just wanted to show you guys this, because this is a beautiful, beautiful game. And once again, I'm going to plug 
Chuck Reagan, the Flame and the Flood soundtrack. Definitely, you should be listening to it. In fact, you should just be listening to it in general, not just while I play this game or while you play this game, but just in life. It's great. It just totally fits the atmosphere of this game. If you like Mumford and Sons or things like that, you will love Chuck Reagan stuff. And yes, she is wet. Oh, I can't actually go to the inventory screen. Get okay, and you can hit, you can hit the space bar when you are moving um, on the raft, just in order to uh, kind of do like a quick push in one direction if you're close to um, close to hitting something. But it does reduce your stamina, which is this blue bar up here. So let's see if we can't get to this campground way over here, and then we're gonna try to get over to the uh, fishing little village. Um, there we go. Campground Wilderness. Oh no, this is Camp Cedar Lake. Often has flint as a lit fire. Wilderness, um, the icon is the trees. Okay, what is our quest for this one? New goal. Boxer? Again, I haven't received this one. Boxer. Deploy a box trap. Live catch a rabbit. You can release it later to distract a wolf. Interesting. Oh, cattails. Good. We always need braided things. Oh, good. This is a lot of cattails. This is really, really good. Cattails are one of the things um, along with... Oh, good. Um, cattails are one of the things along with flint that you just kind of really need at the beginning. Let's get some dandelions. And these are rabbit holes. Let's get some mulberries. We can always chomp down on a handful of berries. Um, and I wish the dog could, like, chase rabbits. Oh, that's a boar. Okay, so spear trap. Let's get a spear trap right there and see if we can't force the boar to come at us through here and then we'll. I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna kill the boar. Hey, buddy. There we go, that was actually really quick. Raw meat and a boar hide. Fantastic. Um, all we need is uh, nuts and bolts and we can start to make that steel knife and steel hammer. Hopefully, nuts and bolts. Flint, man, I don't want more flint. Uh, wild garlic, delicious. Not just in this game, but just in real life. Wild, uh, wild garlic is amazing. I love wild garlic. Um, yeah, and if you haven't played this game and you like survival games like Rust or or those kinds of things, actually, there's no online component to this. Um, but if you like those survival style games, you will absolutely, I think you will love this game. It is charming, it is beautiful, it's by some of the, um, it's by some of the art directors of like Bioshock and some other really, really big companies. Um, so yeah, boar hide gloves. Let's cook the meat. There we go, it'll stay for a little bit longer. Gas bombs, raft frame. Old lumber? No, I wanted that lumber for um, for new tools. And I also want to save the boar. Let's create all of our braided cord, because I haven't seen any use for... for um, oh! Oh, snares. Good. Let's create some snares. And... Yeah, we're going to leave it at that. But let's go get some rabbit. I can hear them popping up and down. Where are the rabbits? There are the rabbits. Ooh, dandelions. And we're no longer wet, which is good. Um, there's some more dandelions. Some more dandelions. And actually, we have water here, but I think that's polluted. Um, but if we wanted to, we could get some water. We could put that in a jar that we just picked up, and then we could make dandelion tea. Which is apparently uh, a good medicine in this game. We're just going to wander around here. Wait for those rabbits. You'll actually hear it. The rabbits do come out and get caught. There we go. And I am kind of sad about this. Oh, and we've run out of uh, room in our inventory. Okay, so let's make some jerky. Yes, jerky's delicious. Never had rabbit jerky, but I would imagine it's uh, kind of good. Um, well, you know what? Let's eat this cooked meat, otherwise it will spoil. That should bring our health up to the top. There we go. And we can now take the rabbit hide and make some other things. 
uh, rabbit pelt gloves, rabbit pelt hat. Uh, we don't have any gloves right now, right? No, we don't have any gloves. Let's make rabbit pelt gloves. There we go. <sighs> No, what I should have saved is saved the rabbit hide and used a stitching kit to make a pouch, which upgrades your, um, your inventory. <sighs> I'm silly. I always forget that. Sometimes I always forget that. But rabbit pelt gloves. Those are really, really good. Those are good. Um, let's search there. But yeah, that's empty. That's just a remnant of the trap. You can only use a trap once. Okay, you can only use a trap once. Do we... No, we didn't pass any more. We didn't pass any more um, quests. There we go. And let's see if we can't get to. I don't think we can get to both the fishing place and the church, but I found that churches tend to have more useful items, and there's also something to to loot over there. So let's head down this way. The respite of Caesar Far. That's great. Often as rags, the stitching kits, and alcohol. It's a great shelter. And hopefully there's no wolves or boars, because we used up our only spear trap. Stitching kit. Good. Now all we need is more. Okay, good. There's some more rabbits. Which means, can we make another snare? Yes. Excellent. So we'll... I, I want some more, um, okay, there's another sapling. Can we make another snare? Yes. Two rabbits. And we are, we do have a, um, sewing kit. So maybe we can actually get that pouch in this particular... Um... Ooh, yucca. We can cook the yucca to make, um, well, to make cooked yucca. And aloe is good for burns. Oh, inventory is full. All right, so um, there's a rabbit hole, so let us use a snare. Oh, we do have the tainted meat. We do have the tainted bait. That should be able to kill uh, a wolf, I believe. There we go. We'll let a rabbit get caught up in that. What's in here? Rags, good. Dandelion. Oh, lots of dandelions. Let's munch on dandelions tonight, shall we? Saplings! No, I want saplings. Um, okay, well, what can we get rid of? Um, well, let's... Here, let's exchange this for this. Let's eat this wild garlic. Wild garlic is delicious. And why aren't I... Thin gloves, eh? Well, let's turn this into rags. Excellent. And we can actually turn the rags into bandages? Yeah, let's make some bandages. A clean bandage is vital for threatening, for treating, for threatening cuts and burns, for treating cuts and burns. There we go, we have our new sapling. I didn't hear any rabbits, though. Didn't hear any rabbits. Did we get one? No, that is, that is a rabbit trap. Maybe they're down for the night. Um, okay, let's sleep. She does need water. Come on, rabbits. We got one there, and we actually have another rabbit here. So let's get another snare right there. Come on, rabbits. There might only be one, but you can always pick up the trap later on. You can always pick up the trap in the future. But you can only place it three times before it degrades. So, one of those three times you need to catch something. One of those three times you definitely need to catch something. Um, and I don't really see much else around here other than the rabbits. Which I really want to catch. It might only be one rabbit. Oh, there's the aloe. Let's grab the aloe. Come on. Why aren't the rabbits? Um, let's sleep in the church. Let's sleep in the church. Let's do this one more time. And hopefully we'll catch the rabbits. 
Just because, okay, that was definitely a rabbit. That was a rabbit that I caught. There's more rabbits. Oh, inventory full, come on. Oh, and uh, it appears that trap has broken. Interesting. But what do we want to get rid of? Um, well, we need water. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. That guy's going to go over there. Can we, can we reset this? Oh, there is a rabbit there. It just isn't showing. Okay, good. Well, there's two rabbits. We can increase our, um, our size. Is there any water around here? Oh, no. Okay. So I was going to fill up the water jar. I fill up the jar with water and then turn it into, um, and then use this water filter in order to do that. Um, do I really want night crawlers? What don't I want? I want the sapling, I want the aloe. Let's just eat a whole bunch of dandelion? Yeah, let's just eat a whole bunch of dandelion, whatever. That'll open up one slot, which we can then use to take the rabbit hides. There we go, rabbit pelt pants, interesting. Well, what I'd rather do is I'd rather make a pouch. Thank you very much. And then we go into this. We just use, where's the pouch? Have we automatically already used it? We've already used the pouch. Because we now have room for 24. Uh-oh, and Storm is a Bruin. And I think that means it is my time to call this episode an end. I'm Karhu, the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching the Flame in the Flood episode one. Definitely check this game out. It was, it's a beautiful experience, especially when you got the music going. But thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time on the mighty whatever river this is. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time in the Flame in the Flood. Ciao, everybody.